Zerks and really excited to have all of you on today's call. This is an opportunity now that you are officially Temple members, what next? How do you continue to engage with our organization and how do you make the best out of your membership? So feel free to um, you know, turn off your cameras when the rest of the team, you'll meet our um, Temple team as well as our board chair and incoming chair um, as they, as we kind of take you through the next hour and a half. But um, for now, if you would put your um, cameras on because we would look, like to do a brief um, round robin with everybody to um, introduce everyone to each other. So we're asking just because we have quite a few of you on the call and our slide presentation is quite long that if you could just take 15 seconds, introduce yourself, your name, your company, your title, and a unique fact about you. This is where it gets to be really um, quite fun and interesting to learn about each and every one of you. So if we stop um, the screen share, and I'm just gonna go through who I see on my, on my um, screen with the, uh, I'll skip over our tempo team as well as our um, leadership until the end of the session. So um, the first one on my screen is Brooke Mayborn. So Brooke, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Brooke Mayborn. I am the Director of Human Resources for Milwaukee Center for Independence. And I guess a very unique fact about me is that I really, really love pink. Like I have everything and I've been wearing pink every day for 16 years. Oh my gosh, that is a very unique fact, Brooke. <laughs> I was wondering like how, when we came on a little early, you and Leah were going back and forth and I was like, what is this? Now it, now I know, so yes, wonderful. Absolutely. pink. <laughs> Welcome. So Brooke, as you will learn, um, and several of those on the call today um, are started out with our Emerging Women Leaders Program and transitioned into Tempo. So we are really grateful for her leadership within EWL and now um, bringing those leadership skills and strengths to Tempo. So welcome, Brooke. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Leah Murphy. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Leah Murphy, and I'm the Executive Managing Director of Hospitality and Gaming Valuation and Advisory for Cushman Wakefield, um, National Practice Leader on that. And a unique fact of, about me is um, I grew up in Germany. I moved there when I was about two years old, and um, my parents worked for the military, and I went to a German school and lived there until I was about nine and then came to the States after that. Well, we are lucky to have you, Leah. So thank you and welcome. Leah is also another EWL transition into Tempo. So welcome into our organization. Yeah, Brooke and I were in the same um, Connect group. Connect, yep, EWL called? Connect. Okay. Yeah, perfect, we're wonderful. Okay. <laughs> and for those Thank of you, you who don't know about the strength and the network of EWL, um, we'll share that a little bit with our Temple members and Marit will uh, kind of own that conversation later on this morning. So wonderful. Thanks, Leah. Nicole. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Nicole Pretree. I am the Vice President of Development for Cedar Community, which is a senior living and healthcare community, the largest in Wisconsin, actually, up in West Bend. Um, let's see. A unique fact about me is that one of my my secret um, one of my secret goals in life is to be a professional poker player, and I have made a final table uh, at a tournament in Las Vegas. That is awesome. Very <laughs> very cool. Yes, you're getting lots of claps from the other new members. That's really cool. I love, see, this is the best part about these orientations is learning these unique facts. So welcome, Nicole. Amy. Good morning. Good My name morning. is Amy Leahy. I am the director of uh, the corporate work study program at Krista Ray Jesuit High School, Milwaukee. Um, we run a work program here at Krista Ray with 425 of our students who go to work every week. Um, not during the pandemic, it's a little bit scaled back right now, but the goal is to get back to work uh, as soon as we can. A unique fact about me, um, gosh, I'm trying to think. 
I feel like it's hard to find a unique fact when you're raising a bunch of kids and working. So, but anyway, um, I've lived and worked in Mexico multiple times, um, both not only as a student, but as a working professional in Mexico City, uh, in and out of Guatemala multiple times um, with Latin American type responsibilities for different businesses. So I've always loved my time down there. Awesome, Amy, wonderful. And I, um, I was able to drive by your new huh? facility, um, which is incredible. So That's if you beautiful. all have not been by, um, it's really just a beautiful building, at Crystal Ray. And, um, and then you're forcing me to share my unique fact a little early, but I was one of five dancers or six dancers in the Crystal Ray Merengue. Oh, I did yay. not win, but it was completely out of my element, but a really, really great uh, fundraiser for the uh -huh. organization. So yes. Thank you so for thank doing you, Amy. that. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely welcome. Molly, leader. Hello, good morning, everybody. I'm Molly Leader. Um, my husband and I run the Leader Financial Group, which is a, a part of Northwestern Mutual here in downtown Milwaukee. Uh, my title is Director of Impact and Growth. And that was just like a fun title to give me because of my role with our, uh, of our team here. Um, fun fact about me is I consider myself to be pretty intelligent, yet I have a really hard time telling time. Like I can't, I'm like a regular class. Like if somebody's like, Molly, what time is it? I'm like, ah, I get really panicky and it takes me a while. So. <laughs> hey, I can totally relate. You're like, is it the longer, like, you know, like wh where's the um, clock pointing? So, well, so, thank you for sharing. Yeah. So teaching your kids how to tell time when you're not that great at it, it's kind of, you know, mom fail. Yeah. But. <laughs> That's why we go with digital clocks, right? <laughs> Perfect. Molly, thank you and welcome. Kimberly Lock. Good morning, everyone. Kimberly Locke. I am the founder of Nana's Babies, a nonprofit organization that caters to women and children in the local community. And I also am the founder of KRL Publishing, a publishing company a, um, for books. A unique fact about me is that I've been vegan for three years and um, I love sneaking uh, vegan dishes into our family's dinner. So we have five children. And so uh, I, 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 I don't want to spend a lot of time in the, in the kitchen. So um, I try to make sure that they're getting their, their healthy stuff as well. But it's interesting to see their, their faces when they find out it's vegan. <laughs> yes. And Tiffany is already requesting. I was just going to say the same thing. Give us some recipes, Kimberly. Absolutely. So in the chat. But um, yes, when I spoke with uh, Kimberly earlier, um, couple of months ago, I was like, how do you get everything done with five children and running two businesses? And um, much like those on the call today, she is excelling in all of that. So um, it's really wonderful to see you. Good morning. Tiffany Strong, Salam. Good morning, everyone. Um, again, as uh, Jen said, my name is Tiffany Strong, Salam, Director of Learning and Development and Advocate of Rural Health. Um, a fun fact about me, uh, during, I always like to play board games, but during COVID, I didn't realize how competitive I am. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think I was that competitive until we start playing more board games and then <laughs> I started being more competitive. Uh, so, uh, that is a, a fun fact that I just discovered, put it that yes, way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is there a game, is there a board game of choice, Tiffany? Well, due to COVID, so we've been exploring, uh, we've been playing Jenga, Monopoly, Uno. Uno is kind of one of those where um, I've played before, but it just really got competitive to me. We've been playing <laughs> cards. So all the board games lately, I've just been, even my husband is kind of surprised, like, oh my God, I didn't realize she was that competitive. I'm like, I didn't know that either. Um, so <laughs> brings out so, the yeah. best of, of us, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, wonderful, <laughs> Tiffany. Nice to meet you and oh, um, glad to be to here. Tomorrow. Absolutely. Tiffany Davister. Hi guys, I'm Tiffany Davister. I've been, um, I work with Ernst & Young. I've been there for 14 years. Um, I, I am a tax accountant, so we're pretty busy this time of year, but busy all year long. Um, I am also an emerging women uh, member that has converted over to Tempo. 
And my fun fact is I am a big runner. I've been down though. I had a pretty major foot surgery this fall. I had to put a plate and some pins into my foot. So I've been off my, off from running for a while, but I, um, during the pandemic did a half marathon and enjoy doing that for fun. Nice to meet all of you. Tiffany kept it going despite the, the surgery and um, is recovering. And um, so it's really wonderful to see you and welcome into Tempo, Tiffany. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to follow up with some of you because we have a program through UI for uh, women entrepreneurs. So it's great to hear all these businesses that you guys have started. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is really incredible. And we have such a, a diverse slate of new members this time around of entrepreneurs. So it's really great. So um, thank you, Tiffany. Liz. Hi, I'm Liz Sumner. Um, I am the County Board Supervisor for District 1, which is um, like the northern suburbs for the most part. And then uh, I also own a women's clothing store in Shorewood. We've been open for 13 and a half years. It's called Shop. Um, let's see, a fun fact about me is, um, you know, I was like trying to think of something. I, I play violin and viola. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Well, and you're a shop owner. And if you have not ever been to Liz's um, retail outlet in Shorewood, I would highly recommend it. It's really wonderful. Thank so, you. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome to Tempo. Thank you. Rashida, good morning. Good morning. My name is Rashida Evans. I am I work for TNTP Incorporated as a partner. Uh, we're a national nonprofit, education nonprofit. Um, a fun, like not necessarily exciting fact, but it's a real fact is that I'm a wanderer. And so when I travel by myself, I tend to wander through cities for hours um, and get lost until I'm tired. And then I find my way back to my hotel. And that's awesome. I love that quality um, because then you find out so much more about the city and um, exploring. So that's that's wonderful. So thank you, Rashida, and welcome to Tempo. Mandy, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm Mandy Hess. I work for Baird. Um, I'm a senior vice president at, in the Baird Advisors um, business unit. Um, I'm in client services, so I help clients, um, new clients um, on board and um, just help manage and, and involved in other projects. Um, everyone has such wonderful fun facts. I guess I don't have like a really great fun fact. I have an actual fact um, that uh, I had three kids in 17 months. Um, so um, that was a quite interesting um, period of my life. And um, went back to work um, like six, about maybe eight weeks after that full time. So it's been a crazy um, 18 years since they're 18 because um, I had twins. So um, they are in the last year and high school. So we will see um, what we do with all of our time after this year. So. Oh yeah, that was, that would, would have been quite interesting and, and a challenge, but it sounds like yeah. you, um, yeah, that, that's really wonderful and a, and a great as you said, not necessarily a, a fun fact, but definitely a fact. For sure. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, Mandy, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Morgan, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Morgan Phelps, I am the founder and CEO of Colorful Connections. We help uh, leaders create inclusive teams that represent the diversity of their uh, modern consumer market. And my fun fact, I've actually been debating. Um, so <laughs> um, my guilty pleasure and new obsession apparently is watching TikTok videos. <laughs> and I really like the pet ones, like the kitty ones and the dog ones and, you know, puppy videos. So absolutely it makes me smile during the day oh thank you Rashida I appreciate that <laughs> and do you find yourself sometimes going down a rabbit hole speaking not from experience but it's like you're like 15 minutes later 45 minutes later it's yeah. so bad it's exactly so bad. yeah exactly. it's addictive well, Morgan welcome um welcome to Tempo it's great to see you again Betsy good morning 
Hey, good morning, Jan. Good morning, ladies. Um, my name is Betsy Reddy. Um, I am the director of I'm currently the director of digital marketing at Stellan Chewies, which is the second largest uh, pet ba pet brand in uh, neighborhood pet and natural pet. So that's kind of a fun fact is that we grew from number seven last year to number two. So a little fast growing <laughs> company over here in Oak Creek. Um, so uh, fun fact about me, um, I was going to go with uh, that I'm a huge Billy Joel fan and I know every word to every Billy Joel song, um, but Tiffany inspired me. Um, not, not Tiffany from my EWL Connects group there, which is great to see you too at Tiffany, but uh, um, our other amazing Tiffany here inspired me. Um, I am a very competitive Papa Shot player. So if you go to any type of bar or restaurant that has a basketball Papa Shot game, I will challenge you and I will win. So um, <laughs> I just want to put that out there for everybody. <laughs> Perfect. That, that should be our next like temple, temple outing is that, yeah, yeah and watching um, Betsy win. So awesome. It's really great to see you, Betsy, and so many of our EWLers that have transitioned into Tempo. So what a great crew. Um, thank you and welcome officially to Tempo Milwaukee. Um, as I started to state at the beginning, I'm president and CEO of this organization. I've been with Tempo for about seven years now um, and just uh, consider myself one of the most blessed uh, CEOs in all of Milwaukee because I'm surrounded by 715 amazing women, mentors, coaches, um, and uh, just a really incredible network that you have now joined, which is really, really great. So along with me, we have a lean but mighty, mighty team. So I'm going to turn it over to Kelsey first, and then we'll go through Marit and Diavion as well. Good morning, ladies. It's so good to um, see your faces. I know I've emailed all of you, so it's really great just to put some faces to the names um, and just to hear a little bit more about you. This is definitely not our preferred method of meeting you guys, but um, we definitely make do with what we can. So it's good to see everyone this morning. My name is Kelsey Aragon, and I um, have been with Tempo, I think, three years now. I started off um, my senior year at Marquette as their intern and then right after graduation jumped right into full time um, and it's been an awesome experience ever since. Um, unique fact, I think about this all quarter until we meet and um, <laughs> luckily last week I went skiing for the first time. So that's my unique fact. I've never been skiing. I have a really big bruise on my knee to prove that I did it. Um, and it was really fun. And I'm going to go back and do it again. And um, I think I'm going to be a pro. <laughs> that's awesome. And she reported out on our Monday um, meeting that she got off the bunny hills and onto like a green hill. So that was, yes. that was awesome. So yes. wonderful. Kelsey yes. is a um, integral part of this team. You'll hear from her a little bit later, but um, uh, hopefully you've also heard from her uh, via email. So yeah, thank you, Kels. Marit. Good morning. good morning, everyone. Good to see you all and my EWL ladies that are have moved into Tempo. Love to see you. Uh, my name is Marit Harms-Franzi. I've been at Tempo about five and a half years and I mainly oversee the Emerging Women Leaders Program and some of our other initiatives, Women's Affinity Alliance, Women's Leadership Collaborative, um, as well as anything else that this small team needs. So my unique fact is not necessarily about me, but it's about my grandfather. He turns 100 in April and we're gonna be doing kind of a hybrid party. The grandkids will zoom in, but fortunately my dad and his two brothers and their wives have all been vaccinated. My grandpa's been vaccinated so they can have a small gathering together. That's awesome, all right. Yay, and get to celebrate um, 100 years. That's really he has seen quite a, a milestone. Yes, yes this absolutely. pandemic's nothing to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. Um, mara has been with Tempo for six years, correct? Yeah, six years. So I'm um, really excited to have her as part of the team. And our intern extraordinaire, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Diavion Lyons, 
And currently I am the communications and events intern here with Tempo. And I, uh, I work closely with Kelsey Martin Jen. Um, I have been with Tempo for roughly over a month. And so far everything has been going good. I love it, great information. I love the mentoring and networking, lots of great things. But um, an interesting fact about me is that rain is like my favorite type of weather. So depending on however I feel when it first started raining is like how I would just feel for that whole day. That's something that's just interesting to me. So if I'm doing homework, when it started raining, I'll just be in work mode. If I'm sleepy, I'll just sleep the whole day away type of thing, but yeah. <laughs> that is awesome, Diavion. It's very soothing, right? Uh, um, comforting to have that rain. And as uh, Kelsey reports out almost every Monday morning that Diavion in her short time with us has been killing it. So we are really um, excited to have her as part of the team and, and thank you for being part of that. Yes, Diavion, yeah, lots of claps. And I did see that Margaret, before I turn it over to Javona, I did see that Margaret Edmonds joined us. So good morning. We're just doing quick little introductions if you want to introduce yourself and the company um, that you're with and then share a unique fact about you. Wonderful. Good morning. And my apologies for being a few minutes late. I had a conflicting meeting right away this morning, but um, it's a pleasure to be with you and meet all of you and, and see you all. I, I see a few familiar faces. Hi, Devona. Nice to see you. Um, but uh, I work, I'm a director of anti-money laundering and corporate compliance at Baird. And so in the financial services arena and a fun fact about me, maybe to just piggyback on what Diavion mentioned, uh, a colleague, former colleague several years ago told me if there is a day that is a little cloudier or a rainy day, or especially Mondays or days where I need a little bit more energy, wear a really nice bright color or bold pattern, mm -hmm. and it just does a lot to kind of pick, pick you up. So I need that. So Diavion, maybe we can kind of team up. Maybe you can send some of your energy my way on, on those <laughs> rainy days, I, I need a little extra those days, but that, that's my little fun fact. That's awesome, Margaret. And maybe uh, you should uh, touch base with Brooke Mayborn, who is a new member that wears pink, has worn pink um, for, I think you said like, until <laughs> like, just has been her color. And so Every in terms of, years. yeah, just, yep, absolutely. So um, <laughs> welcome, Margaret. I am going to turn it over to Devona. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Jen. It's so great to see all of you. I mean, this is energy for me for the rest of the day, rest of the week. Um, girl power, women power. I love it. Um, so Devona Wright Cottrell, I am Chief um, Legal Officer and General Counsel for GMR Marketing. I have been with Tempo, it seems like forever, but it's probably only been a member for four years um, and then, but attended programming for several years before that. Um, and it just has been an amazing journey for me and I'm hoping the same will be true for all of you. In terms of, you, of a unique fact, I um, left the practice of law for a year to pursue modeling and quickly realized that that was not my calling and returned to the practice of law and have been doing it ever since for 20 years. So that is my fun fact. Devona, I did not know that. And all of these times, I did not know that about you. So that is why this is, these meetings are key. So um, thank you, Devona. Uh, really excited that Devona will be um, taking on the role of board chair, effective May 1st, um, so just a couple of months away, and it's been really a blessing getting to know her under her leadership. Our current board chair, Lori Richards, um, is also going to be joining us probably in the next three or four minutes, um, and if she does hop on, I will turn it over to her just to say a few words, but um, with that, thank you again. Wonderful to see all of your faces. Again, as Kelsey mentioned, we would much rather be doing this in person, but given um, our circumstances, uh, at least we can see your faces and get to know each of you and your unique facts and what you, um, the incredible strength that uh, you continue to bring to this network of women leaders. So we're gonna spend the next hour uh, now just going through a, a pretty significant PowerPoint, but wanted to give you a historical background of who Tempo is, but most importantly, 
what our organization brings to you all and the member benefits as well as multiple, multiple opportunities to get involved. So I will start out the presentation this morning and then turn it over to the team to go through a couple of um, uh, additional things as well. So, and, and at any point, uh, raise your hand or um, you know, shoot a question in the chat or just open up your mic if you want me to stop or any of us to stop and ask a question. We hope to have some time at the end as well to um, answer any of the questions you may have. So just a brief uh, shot at our, our history. We are 46 years old this year. We were started in 1975, as you see, by a handful of women who really found themselves uh, in that executive leadership role, kind of at the height of their career. But when they looked around, they did not see other women, um, but uh, you know, were more in the uh, the environment of um, white males in a, in a boardroom and just said, you know what, there's something to this network and strength of women leaders that have reached this executive role. So they started out, as you see on the screen, the first Temple Business and Professional Women's Club of Milwaukee, which is now known as Temple. Uh, so that was uh, 46 years ago. And as we'll talk a little bit about that landscape for women in those executive roles was vastly different than it is today. Um, and we have made a lot of um, incredible strides and, and um, unique and really impactful milestones, but we still have some work to do to make sure that we hold that equal place in society. So if you fast forward to today, this is our new brand. We launched this uh, brand refresh in December of 2020, so just a couple of months ago, and we love it. We worked with an outside organization, um, marketing agency, Beta Rudder, if any of you know that or um, know of that incredible agency, and really um, wanted to look at how we have evolved over the last 46 years. So I'll give you some time to read what is on your screen, but it's really this impact of the world moves when women rise, and that has been our mantra and will continue to be our mantra moving forward, as well as together our voices rise and the world rises with us. So we are really excited about this refresh. We do think it is a um, incredible depiction of where we have come as an organization over the last 46 years and really helps to brand our members and uh, who we want to be now and into the future as well. Our mission and our vision are what was stated 46 years ago and remains true. Our mission is to further the impact of women leaders in our community. And I shared a little bit about a vision uh, that we that was established 46 years ago, and that's a society where exec executive women share an equal place in leadership policy and decision making. And as I mentioned, uh, we have made incredible um, strides and inroads in getting to that equal place. We still have quite some work to do um, so that it is a 50-50 uh, representation, certainly for um, women in leadership policy and decision-making, not only in our business community, but beyond as well. But um, really incredible to have this network of women leaders helping to advocate and really explore and evolve our mission and vision. So our core competencies, uh, Temple advocates on behalf of women. So you'll hear a lot about that, um, bringing up that uh, next generation. So we'll talk a lot about our emerging women leaders and how we continue to advocate for them, but also for women within Tempo, um, those that are in those executive roles and how we continue to advocate for them and be that voice, um, that strong collective voice, as well as elevating our members, um, continuing to be those ambassadors and champions of our members. And then accelerating. So we'll talk a little a lot about what we've done. Um, you've seen kind of the, the historic past of how we've accelerated women, how we've grown. We'll talk a little bit about our membership growth over the last 46 years. And then that key component of the emerging women leaders and accelerating that future generation of our um, temple leaders. These are the three core values. So we talk a lot about leadership. So women that are in those executive suite um, positions that are leading their organizations that are owning their businesses, 
that is a core value of Tempo and why many of our uh, uh, members join the organization. It's also for this networking. Uh, you will hear me talk about the 450 plus women that are in Tempo, um, but then add an additional 300 from our emerging women leaders. And it is a powerful network. And so many of our women join to have that connection with women that are their peers, that are um, running their own businesses, that are sharing best practices. And we talk a lot about the strength and it is not, it is not lost on me or any of our um, Temple leadership that the importance of a network, especially now is so incredibly important and the strength just to, continues to um, grow um, on a daily basis. So, um, and with the, the new leaders um, and new members that are joining um, today. Mentoring is part of our DNA. It's been part of who we are for the last 46 years. I think it's probably um, where we're best known to the public. Our focus on mentoring, bringing up that next generation of leaders, um, also mentoring um, within Temple Milwaukee. And so Marit and Kelsey will talk a little bit about how we've brought greater definition to that mentoring component of our core values. But um, it's a really unique space that Tempo has and that we continue to provide that value to our members. This is our Tempo profile. And this is really, um, if you are not aware, uh, this is really, um, you know, the, the differentiator that I think sets our uh, members apart. And not only from the 10 plus years of professional experience, but it's really that additional experience, that second um, tier here, which is that five plus years of senior and executive level or high managerial experience. And we've really stayed true to um, that key criteria for our members because we realized that even 46 years ago, uh, the number of women um, rising to those executive ranks was very small. We are um, so excited that now it's 450 members and we know that that is even greater and there are more women that are rising to those ranks. Um, and so that's really great to see and the evolution of our organization. But we've also seen and experienced, um, a lot of you mentioned um, joining Tempo from um, the, the, the fact that you're in servicing male dominated um, industries. And so we've seen a, a huge uptick in women that are joining from the manufacturing, from um, the technology space, from um, you know, those areas that have been um, heavily male dominated in, in industries and their women are rising to the ranks. And so that's really been incredible to see. So that is a key um, differentiator, I believe, for our Temple membership. Also, obviously leadership, we've talked about community involvement as well. Um, many of you, we were so impressed and our membership committee was really impressed about what you are doing outside of your organizations. We know that you're running companies and that you're, um, you know, you're a mother of five or, or, or twins, but yet beyond that, you have this huge um, value that you're providing to our community. And so that's a really important component of our Temple member profile as well. And then certainly from an, an endorsement. So there are two ways into our Temple membership that is an, an invite, um, you know, we seek you because you meet all of this um, Tempo criteria. Maybe you're new to the um, Milwaukee area or you've just been elevated into a CEO position. And we think this is a really great opportunity to join our organization or it's through nomination. So many of you have also been nominated for, for membership from our Tempo members. And so it's really wonderful to add you to our um, our Tempo network. So that's the profile. If you look at our member stats, uh, we are 445 Tempo members strong. So if you think about the four women that started Tempo Milwaukee in 1975 to where we are today, it's really an incredible increase. Um, and it's very diverse as we heard from many of you from nonprofits to owning your own business to being an entrepreneur to working in the private or the public sector. Um, it's really a diverse uh, number of industries and companies that are represented, 290 companies. And we've seen an incredible uptick of um, new members that are joining. We didn't know quite how that would look um, given 
the pandemic and that we aren't able to meet in person. But as we'll talk about, um, we've been able to offer a lot of wonderful benefits to our um, members. And so we've seen that great increase in new members. You're part of this 93 new members in just the last year. So really, really outstanding members. This is our membership growth. So when I started and even beyond that, we were about in the 250, 275 range. And we've seen just an incredible increase um, due to a lot of the brand awareness, a lot of marketing, um, but also having a voice in the community and really elevating our role as a united and a collective voice of women on um, a series or you know, issues that are related to women in the workplace. But I also think it speaks to the need and the strength of a um, membership grow, uh, group like Tempo that it's providing to our members. And so I think it's kind of been this grassroots um, conversations that are being had within our community that we, uh, you know, I want to learn more about Tempo. Can I um, become a member? Can I help to share part of this movement and some of the things that our organization is doing? So 272 since 2014 to our current um, membership um, member of 445 is some pretty significant membership growth. So our governance, you met them, our three full-time employees and our part-time em uh, employee with our um, intern, Diavion, but uh, me, certainly as the president and CEO, then Mar Marit as director of membership and programs, our communications and events specialist, Kelsey, who many of you have heard um, from, and our intern, uh, Diavion. We are also in the process of hiring um, a marketing and communications person to really help support this team and our new brand. And so we will hopefully be adding that person to our team in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then looking to um, even evolve our uh, Tempo team um, a little bit further in 2021. We are led by a board of directors, our board chair, Lori Richards, um, past chair, Mary Beth Cottrell, our chair elect, Devona Wright Cottrell, who you met as well, as well as 19 board members um, serving in director or directors at large. Um, they are elected at our annual meeting, which is coming up in April. So that gives me an opportunity just to stop um, to see if Lori Richards did join our call. Um, Hi. And so, yeah, right. perfect. Yeah. Why don't you do a little quick introduction? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. And again, my apologies for being a little late this morning. Uh, I appreciate uh, Devona jumping in and, and giving an introduction and representing the board here with you all. And as I'm sure she shared with you, um, we are about to literally start the baton pass between uh, my chair year and Devona's coming up as well. So, um, it's been a great year with Tempo Milwaukee and so many great things to come with Devona at the helm as well. But a little bit more about me. So I'm Lori Richards. I'm CEO of Miller Communications, uh, a public relations and communications agency here on the east side of Milwaukee. Good to see some familiar names and familiar faces. Hi, Morgan, uh, on the call today. Um, but a little bit more about my journey with Tempo. So I've been a Tempo member for, um, I think about eight years now. I've been on the board for about five. Um, I joined Tempo originally because a couple mentors of mine um, kind of pulled me aside and say, hey, have you ever thought about Tempo? I think you could really benefit from it. I think it would be a great network for you. Nominated me and, and helped me become acclimated with the group. And to be honest, I wasn't quite sure what I would get out of the experience with Tempo, but I was also at a place in my life and my career where all of my mentors up until that point really had been men and taught me just amazing things about my industry, how to become the best PR practitioner I could. But what I was missing at that point was I had just become a mom and I was a working mom. It was the guidance about how do you how, I mean, if, if we ever do find balance, how do you juggle all of these things? How do you set expectations for yourself that are realistic? Um, and how do you continue to set leadership goals despite all of these other things that you're juggling in your life? Um, 
one of the most critically important things I did early on in my tempo journey. There are many, many ways to get engaged, as I'm sure you've heard about today or will hear about. But one of the things that I did, which was really, I think, critically important, again, as I look back in my leadership growth, uh, was I joined a mentor circle with Tempo. Um, so you have the opportunity to join mentor circles. Mine happened to be just incredibly unique. The thing, the thread that sort of wove us all together is that we all were consultants in some form or fashion. And this group, let me tell you, it quite literally had every decade or sort of generation represented. I was in my 30s at the time. The oldest member of our group was in her 80s was still an active practicing attorney and had eight children. So then there were seven in her 70s, 60s, all the way down. And I will tell you, these women helped me through, again, navigating, becoming a working mom, succession planning and taking over a business from a, a, a succession owner, um, losing parents, um, you know, how to navigate be, being kind of in the sandwich generation, again, how to continue to um, take advantage of your own growth track or set your own growth goals as a professional. It was just, um, it was a phenomenal experience and one that I'm quite certain I wouldn't be where I am today without. So I hope you all have the same experience and find the fit for you within Tempo that helps you reach your goals and your full potential. So thank you all for giving me a few minutes and I'm um, looking forward to getting to know you all a bit better. Thank Lord you, Mary. Has this very fun fact. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Devona. Thanks. Well, I feel, I feel like I shared this one at the last one, but it's the first one I can come up with at my, um, just on a moment's notice. So I am the fourth generation in my family to have uh, survived a ruptured appendix. And my daughter, who's now seven, also had her appendix out when she was four. So I don't know if there is a genetic link, but there is a pretty clear lineage in our family. So we're, we're keeping a close eye on everybody when they have tummy aches. Absolutely. Keep that close <laughs> eye for sure. Yes. When you shared that, I was like, oh, yeah. Um, but thank you, Lori. Lori has been an incredible mentor, um, just an incredible board chair um, friend. And, uh, and thank you so much for sharing your experience with our mentor circles. I, I think that is um, one of those incredible value adds uh, to our organization. It's a very unique differentiator. We'll talk a little bit more about it coming up, but thank you so much, Lori, for um, being with us today and sharing your perspective as a member. Absolutely, thank you. Awesome. Um, so there, we will talk a little bit about our um, 12 committees and specifically, but you'll see them here all on the screen. Uh, we do have, there is not a lack of engagement opportunities within Tempo, and you'll hear it from Devona, you'll hear it from Lori, um, what you get out of Tempo is what you put into it, and there's not a requirement, there's not a mandate that you serve in um, this capacity, or that you join a committee, or that you join a mentor circles, but certainly um, you get the most out of it um, by, by doing so and meeting other Tempo Milwaukee um, members. So these are the 12 committees, our structure, there is our leadership opportunities on each of these committees in a chair and a vice chair role, each serving um, a one year term. There are a couple of other committees, um, membership, communications, um, the diversity and inclusion um, that have more of a two year term, but those we'll talk a little bit um, later. But really, if you're interested in a leadership opportunity, again, there are several engagement opportunities within our committee. So it's, it's really, um, uh, opportunity uh, is calling if you're interested. So we'll talk a little bit more about those. Our finances, so our Tempo as a membership organization, which you have all joined is a 501c6, which is a little bit of a unique um, IRS distinction between a 501c3, but it is for a membership organization. Your dues include um, your monthly program meetings, uh, when we're back to meeting in person, also five professional development sessions, which we'll talk a little bit about our Tempo Talks webinars, Tempo Discovery, Tempo Holiday Party, and virtual program, um, just a number of different other um, opportunities to get involved. So it really is 
a incredible value uh, for your membership and at no additional cost. Other sources of our revenue, we'll talk a little bit about the Emerging Women Leaders. Mark will share about the Women's Affinity, Affinity Alliance. We um, have really wonderful partnerships with our corporate um, sponsors, um, event, events we'll talk about, and then the interest income on investments as well, and where we um, kind of start, started with 46 years ago and where we are today. We also have a charitable arm, which is our 501c3, our Temple Foundation, which we'll talk a little bit more about coming up. But this is um, the opportunity for um, our members to contribute to that. And then our dollars will then be fed back into the um, Milwaukee community in the um, form of female college um, scholarships of $15,000 through our mentor awards, as well as our annual continuing education grant which you will hear a little bit about later. So that is our 501c3. So the future of Tempo. So we've talked a little bit about our emerging women leaders and how we've kind of evolved over the last 46 years, but I wanna spend just a couple of minutes on our strategic plan and where we are headed at least for the next three years. So we presented our strategic plan in April of last year and um, launched it uh, for the next three years. The idea behind the strategic plan, uh, as you see on the screen, will achieve the following in uh, 2023. It's really uh, strengthening our presence in the community in these five areas, um, an inclusive network of female leaders, uh, providing you know, our core values and our core competencies of leadership, of mentoring, of networking. We want to continue to be an organization whose strength and position impacts the community. So what are we doing to give back? So a lot of that is through our Tempo Foundation and you'll hear about that as well. We want to be a thought leader on equity and matters of importance for women in the workplace. So Mart will talk a lot about what our Women's Leadership Collaborative is doing and what we continue to do to have a presence, to have a collective voice on matters not only to women, but that are um, really impacting our community. So, um, you know, we'll talk a lot about um, our DEI efforts, uh, what we're doing from a pay equity perspective, um, and, and just continuing to be that, that thought leader. We want to also be a business partner and resource for the media, for our corporate sponsors, for nonprofits, who continue to share our mission and our vision of furthering the impact of women leaders. And certainly last but not least is we want to be a financially strong organization and we are in really good um, uh, a, a presence right now in, in achieving all of these goals, but how we're going to get there is really what is of most importance. So we'll share the next uh, screen of our four strategic areas uh, to reach our goals. So I'll talk, um, we've talked a lot about our network and our values. So our network of 750 women if you include our emerging women leaders and how to harness and really foster that collective power of tempo and provide that value to our members. Mm -hmm. At the heart of this screen is that member experience. And so how do all four of these key strategies really focus on what we are providing to our members? And so that value add, that benefit to being a Tempo Milwaukee member. Our legacy and brand, we're 46 years strong, but how do we continue to um, build upon that brand equity that we've achieved over the last 46 years and beyond? So what um, you see in that legacy and brand um, focus is our emerging women leaders. It's the brand refresh that we um, just shared with you. It's how we are evolving and what that future looks like. How do we remain relevant as an organization? So that's really the focus of the legacy and brand. The, uh, the focus of our equity and belonging, um, this has been a, um, you know, a, a priority of our organization for the last 46 years. It's been something that's been woven into our culture, but I would say like many organizations um, in the last um, two to three years, and particularly in the last 12 months, we at Tempo have really taken a more in-depth look at um, our equity and belonging or our DNI initiatives and really peeled back the onion to um, make sure that 
we are providing that inclusive environment. And if we're not, how do we change that? How do we continue to change the narrative so that we are providing value to all women um, uh, you know, that we serve and that, that continue to be um, members? So women of color to um, the different diverse talent to the, the strength of um, the industries that you serve. So we took um, a look back and that has been really an incredible um, journey that we continue to be on from an organization that um, about four years ago was 93% white women to now um, an organization of 85% white women. So we continue to move the needle, but we know that we have a lot of work to do in this area. And we'll talk a lot about some of those um, um, key achievements and milestones that we've made in the last uh, 12 months to really focus on equity and belonging. As well as community and impact, um, just, um, sorry, no, no, that's all right, perfect. Um, so we continue to be um, that, that key service. Uh, so this is really where our, um, our foundation has a lot of um, impact in that area. And I'm gonna turn it over to Marit. Thanks, Jen. So I'll talk a little bit about what makes Tempo different, what we kind of hang our hat on at the end of the day and some of our areas of focus that I have the pleasure of leading. So this slide is just a quick snapshot of some of our achievements over the past 12 months. And we know, I think today is like the anniversary of all of us working from home. Um, and I definitely believe this past year has been one of the best for Tempo ever. And uh, maybe you all can relate too, but we've all really had to sink or swim over the past year. And I think under Jen's leadership and the board's leadership, we've just really been able to pivot quickly and kind of change the face of Tempo and how we're gonna move forward even when we are back in person. So. Here's a quick snapshot, some things that you that we've already talked about, um, but just things that we're really proud of and these metrics that we've been able to achieve over the past year. So a major key differentiator of Tempo, and I think since it was founded in 1975, this has been the case, but it's our programming. So those program meetings that our members attend eight times a year where we come together in person network and hear from a high caliber speaker to talk about business issues. That's really evolved to professional development programming, Tempo discovery outings, now our virtual Tempo talks programming. So really no lack of opportunity to get involved in um, one, hear from Tempo members, hear from other experts in the community and on a national level too. Women's Affinity Alliance is another one of our key offerings within Tempo. It was founded in 2011, actually by several Tempo members who were leading their corporate emerge, uh, employee resource group efforts internally and were looking for a space to share best practices, bounce ideas off of, and nothing like that existed. So they said, let's form, form our own little initiative and it, totally made sense for it to fall under Tempo's offerings and the Tempo umbrella. So Women's Affinity Alliance, we offer quarterly events to Tempo members who add on that $100 to their membership, or you can become a corporate sponsor. So really bringing together Tempo members, non-Tempo members, even men who are stakeholders within the corporate ERG space to come together. And then on this next slide, you can see, here's all of the companies that are currently involved in Way. Another very big key differentiator that takes up a lot of my time is Emerging Women Leaders. We celebrated five years in December, 2015. And you can look at the growth that has occurred over those past five years. So when we launched, we had 40 members. And today we have surpassed 280 and continue to grow um, every year. But then also have our EWL members transition into Tempo, which is really the goal for women who aspire to be in those executive roles 
it's our part of our secession plan for Tempo that our EWL members will move into Tempo. And I believe to date, um, it's been 15. And here is just a little bit more about that group. So diverse for sure, like Tempo is with different industries, um, sectors represented. You can see the job title, um, which we know it differs based on industry company, but for EWL, we're really looking for that mid manager uh, level, someone with at least six years of experience, but really could be someone almost ready for tempo, just waiting to get that five years at the executive level. So a, a range of women who come together to have programming on topics relevant to that demographic. And here's the criteria that I mentioned. So really looking for at least six years full time. Like Tempo, we look for women who are already involved in the community, display leadership within their company. And then the nomination process is by a Tempo member or a current EWL member. And a little different than Tempo, we take nominations twice a year instead of four times. We actually are currently in the spring nomination period, which you may have gotten an email earlier this week. Um, the deadline is Monday. If you have any questions about the criteria or the process, please feel free to reach out to me. Tempo Foundation, which Jen mentioned in the beginning, this is our 501c3 charitable arm of Tempo that provides scholarships. Um, we have a new continuing education grant that's a few years old. And really, this is our vehicle to give back to the community. Women's Leadership Collaborative is another initiative that I have the pleasure of leading and overseeing. And it's actually a big month for us at the WLC because it is Women's History Month. So you may have seen some communication about what we're doing. But um, basically, the WLC is our partnership with Milwaukee Women, Inc. and Professional Dim Dimensions, two other women's groups in town. And we've come together as it makes sense on major issues to have one voice because together we are about uh, 1,100 members strong. So um, our focus currently is on pay equity. Last year, we had a big campaign initiative to do salary negotiation trainings before COVID hit, but definitely something that we're still focused on and we'll be offering those probably in the fall. Next slide, Kelsey. I think that's that's it for me. So if you have any questions about any of those initiatives, certainly about EWL, please feel free to chat me. Take it away, Kelsey. Marit, um, as Jen mentioned, there's no shortage of opportunities to get involved with Tempo and we understand that that looks different to each member. Um, so I'll just go through some of, well, all of, um, the different opportunities that we offer here and just give a little bit of background. So first, our program meetings, these are really um, the core of Tempo, something that is consistent eight times per year, so almost every month. Um, and we're really excited to have just brought these back virtually um, as we took a break for the last year on these third Thursday programs. But we um, offer these events to really connect our members and bring in some local speakers to share leadership topics, um, either in a speaker keynote presentation, a fireside chat or a panel discussion. Um, again, on um, different topics that are relevant to our community, relevant to the business world, um, and just a way for our members to continue to stay connected to the Milwaukee community and, and continue those learnings. Um, we are virtual for now, but we are still sticking with our third Thursday cadence. Um, this is over the lunch hour while we're virtual noon to one. And we have an upcoming session um, on the 18th. That'll be really um, a fascinating um, session led by County Executive David Crowley and Commissioner Lafayette Crump. So they're gonna be doing a little bit of a fireside chat moderated conversation, um, just on talking about 
what some of the old and new challenges are that are facing our community and how Temple members can get involved and, and what that looks like. Um, if you have not registered yet, the registration is open on our website. It should be a really great session. Next, our Tempo Talks. Um, we've talked about these briefly, but this was really something that was born at the start of the pandemic, at the start of the shutdown about a year ago this time. Um, and this was a way to keep our members informed on the ever-changing world we were living in um, on all sorts of COVID topics. And it quickly evolved to a regular um, programming offering of tempos in general on any sort of business topic. And we wanted to look to our membership specifically to um, have those leaders come in and, and speak to those topics. Um, so there's no shortage of expertise with our Tempo members and we really hadn't had a specific outlet to showcase those up until Tempo Talks. So this was that opportunity. Um, they started off every single Friday afternoon. We scaled back to every other and now we're being, these are being held monthly, but that's just so that we can hone in on that content um, and really be um, strategic about what messages we're pushing out there and, and who we're showcasing. But we're excited to have this continue to be an offering of tempos beyond our virtual setting. Um, once we do return in person, we've found that this is just a really well attended and well um, responded to program. So we will continue this um, well into Tempo's future. And these are held the first or second Friday of each month from noon to one. We're taking a break in April on Tempo Talks to focus on our mentor awards and annual meeting, um, but we'll return in May for that. So keep an eye out. Tempo Real Talks is um, another program offering that was born in this, um, in, within the last year. Um, this was really a response to the, um, just I think racial awakening that um, took place in the summer and Tempo feeling like we needed to be doing our part and, and having our voices be heard and having our members' voices be heard and really coming together in a safe place to unwrap these topics and um, just really lean on each other for understanding and it's again, continued to be just a usual for Tempo. It's a program that won't go away um, and it will continue to evolve. Um, at this point, we're working through the book White Fragility. So this is a chapter discussion each month um, with the same group of members, different group of members. You're welcome to join at any point throughout the conversation. Um, and it's led by a different member of Tempo's DEI committee, really leading that group discussion, and then small, um, smaller, more intimate breakout session groups to really dive deeper into the content. Um, so we've just really been proud of our members who have stepped up and um, taken the lead on having these courageous conversations and joining us for these and continuing to be dedicated to the dialogue. Um, so again, these are monthly, second Wednesday of the month from 4 to 5.30. They're virtual. Um, in April, we're having a special day of understanding edition. Um, so we really invite all of our members to join us for that. And then beginning in May, we'll dive back into our regular chapter discussions with chapter 10. The professional development series is um, held five times a year on a Friday afternoon while we're virtual. Um, these programs are really um, differentiated in that they're more of a work hands on um, learning opportunity. We really encourage our members to invite their teams to these as um, we look to our speakers to prevent tangible takeaways. Um, to all of our members who are attending. Um, these are put on by our professional development series committee. So they really look to who those speakers are in the community that are um, able to offer those hands-on and just um, tangible working takeaways. 
So it's been a little bit different virtual, trying to be as you know hands-on and um, collaborative as possible, but our committee's done a great job at making that work um, in a virtual setting and using breakout rooms and small group discussions. So we do have a session coming up in June, on June 4th. It's combined with our Tempo Talk session, but it's again gonna be a working session where we encourage participants to have their videos on and their audio and participate with one another through the session. And then Tempo Discovery is an offering that has unfortunately been put on hold due to COVID, um, but this was a networking opportunity for our Tempo members to really go to um, a new local company, local spot, um, to get kind of a behind the scenes tour and just have the opportunity to learn what's up and coming in our community, what the stories are behind these um, organizations, um, and have an exclusive opportunity just for Tempo, but to also have a networking opportunity in a smaller group. We hope to bring these back in some sort of capacity as they were held quarterly, um, and just, again, a really awesome opportunity just to kind of connect on a smaller level with a smaller group. Um, but once, once we get back in person, we'll, we'll look to having these back. Um, mentor circles has been brought up a little bit here. I know you heard Lori's story about her um, personal connection with her mentor circle, but this continues to be one of, I think, the most valuable um, offerings of Tempo. We hear time and time again, just the incredible connection that's formed in these small groups. Um, mentors are run on their own. We're not the Tempo team has no um, control of what's discussed or what's um, covered in those circles. It's really up to the group to figure out that for their own circle. Um, so these can be a really strong professional working mentor circle. It can be more of a personal connection. Um, I know some of the EWL members on the call have participated in EWL Connects. It's based on the same um, the same criteria basically, but putting you into a small group of five to eight or so other members um, and just connecting you guys to have open conversations and meet on a cadence that works for you um, and really just form those tight knit um, relationships. Um, this is something that's always open to sign up for at any time throughout your membership. Um, so you can just email myself or our info box to get started. And then our mentor circles committee does a really awesome job at being um, really taking their time through matching you uh, circle that makes sense for specifically what you're looking to get out of it. Um, so if this is something that's of interest to you, please reach out and we can start that matching process. This has continued to grow, as you can see here, 127 members participating in 17 circles and they're getting really close to launching an 18th circle. So it just continues to be an awesome offering that we see members, longstanding members join um, as well as our brand new members join right off the gate. Um, as Marit mentioned, we have our Emerging Women Leaders Program um, and the opportunity to serve as mentors to our Emerging Women Leaders members. Um, and what we often hear is that it's reverse mentoring too. So our the terms mentee and mentor are really interchangeable um, as we hear that both individuals are learning equally from one another. Um, this program continues again to grow, as you can see here, 264 matches to date since its launch. Um, and this is a one year mentoring commitment. Um, with the opportunity to, of course, continue the relationship on beyond that. Placements are made biannually. They just did their spring placements. So if you are interested in serving as a mentor, um, we do ask, or we put an ask out in the Monday message for you to sign up. Um, so keep an eye out for that coming this fall, if that's something that interests you. Some signature events of ours, the leadership event, which is our fall event, um, 
Uh, hopefully some of you were able to attend virtually this year as we brought in Gabrielle Union to be our virtual keynote speaker. Um, but this event really is, is quickly becoming one of Tempo's most well-known events. I think we had, oh yeah, it says here 1,600 virtual attendees this year, which really just blew it out of the water. I don't think we were even expecting that. Um, and the beauty of virtual was that we were able to accommodate 1600 people. I don't know where we would have put them if we were in person, um, but it was, it was an awesome experience. We really look for a high caliber, um, nationally recognized speaker to come speak to our members, our emerging women leaders and guests. Um, and I think that this is again, quickly becoming an event that's putting tempo on the map um, and especially virtually bringing our scope even wider than the Milwaukee area. So stay tuned for updates on who will be speaking this fall. Um, it's always an exciting process to lock those speakers in and continue this event. Another one of our favorite events of all time is the annual holiday party. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be in person in 2021 for this celebration. But this is again, just a really fun um, opportunity to network with one another and just celebrate the end of the year and come together um, as a large group of Tempo and EWL members. Um, we like to um, combine this with a fundraiser for our Tempo Foundation through a raffle. Um, so it's just, again, one of our most favorite events because it's just fun and you just get to network with everyone and eat some delicious food and just um, ring in the new year together. And then our 31st annual mentor awards. Hopefully you've heard the news. We've announced our winners for this year and this event is quickly approaching April 29th. Um, over the lunch hour, it's gonna be a virtual event. Um, but again, this is Tempo's most long st longest standing event. Um, where we honor local mentors in the community and this year specifically heroic mentors who have really um, stepped up in the last year in the pandemic and owned it um, and just served others selflessly throughout the um, last year. We are honoring four winners this year. So three individuals and then the Medical College of Wisconsin being our corporate recipient. Um, and this event really is just to honor them. It's an awesome event to see what their impact is, see their reach um, and thank them and celebrate them for their work. Um, if you have not registered yet, registration is open on our website. Individuals are encouraged to register and attend. Um, and again, incredible mentors. And our golf outing and summer social, we're really excited about this upcoming June event um, to see people in person, which is gonna be so exciting. But again, this is one event that we look forward to every year because it just gets us outside um, on a beautiful day, fun um, opportunity to golf. I'm not a golfer, but I hear that even people who don't golf can still golf and have a great time. Um, so I encourage everyone to register even if you um, don't consider yourself a golfer. Um, but this will be for this year, one of our first opportunities to be back in person um, outside in a larger group. So we hope to see you there June 28th um, at the University Club Country Club. All right, now navigating the organization a little bit. These are just some logistical steps on, on what to expect and how to um, kind of navigate your next immediate steps after you've joined. So everyone on this call should have received an email from myself with um, steps on how to finalize your new membership um, paperwork using a link online to get your dues invoice paid, um, update your new member profile with all your contact information, submit your headshot and biography, um, as well as some engagement opportunities and committee opportunities. If you have not received this, please let me know. Um, 
or if you have any questions on how to submit any of the items, please let me know. Um, and once we get all that information from you, we get you starting on our um, communications and you'll start receiving all of our um, messages and just being up to date on all membership opportunities there. And now we'll do a little bit of navigating the website here for you. So just bear with me for one minute while I share my screen. While Kelsey is doing that, if anybody has any questions, um, feel free to unmute yourself and um, ask away. There's a lot of information uh, that we've just presented. But if anybody has questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, we have some time at the end. Um, or reach out to us via email if you um, have any other additional questions. Thanks, Kel. Okay, perfect. And you can see the website screen here. Awesome. Yeah. Um, great. So after logging in, again, all of you, when you establish your new member, you complete your new member profile, you establish your username and password, you log in up at the top here, and then it'll bring you to our homepage and it'll add a few tabs um, after logging in. So one of those tabs is the directory. Um, and we like to point this out to new members because this is really your most um, up-to-date and current full tempo and EWL directory. So this is a great place to go for um, any sort of contact information you may be looking to find to connect with other members. You can search the directory specifically here, or you can just get a listing of Tempo Milwaukee members, Emerging Women Leaders members, or WAY members. Um, so again, this is just a really great resource um, to connect with other members that you might have connected on an, at an event with and you need to follow up with them for whatever reason. This is only available to members with a login. So after you've logged in, you'll see this tab pop up. The other section we like to um, point out is your member profile. So here is where you'll see all the information that you put in when you completed your online membership form. This is an area you can go if you need to change your email address, if you have a change in phone number, title, company, any of that information, you can edit that here. You can also always send that to the Tempo team and we can get it edited for you. But the other spot that we like to point out is your submissions button or section here, which will show you all the events you've registered for. So if you ever have a question, if you're already registered for an event or not, this is a great place to go. It'll show you every form you've completed for registration. And then an invoices section here to see if you have any outstanding invoices, if you need to get a receipt for an invoice, this is your spot to go. So again, that's something that pops up after you log in on the website. And then homepage, we always have upcoming events on this sidebar here and plug of events up in this box here. Um, so really those are just some of your key spots to go to. And I'll switch again. So the other thing is the Monday message. And we often tell members that you really don't even have to go to the website at all to register for events if you're just getting the Monday message every Monday. Um, this is right to your email. It's a list of all upcoming events, important tempo announcements, um, registration links, all of that. It's all in this email. So this is really your go-to resource for all things Tempo. Again, it's sent every Monday morning um, right to your inbox. Let us know if you have not started receiving this and you've turned in all your membership um, items because sometimes it does get caught by marked as spam. Um, so we want to make sure everyone's receiving this and it's going to their right box. Another one of our communications is the Members Advancing Milwaukee Blast. This is a quarterly blast that goes out to our members and emerging women leaders. 
And this is an opportunity for everyone to share with the greater Tempo community um, any sort of job opportunities or board opportunities that you might be aware of or you're searching for, um, any events that are open to the community that you think Tempo members would be interested in attending. Um, if you have volunteer opportunities, you're looking for volunteers. This is again, just a way for Tempo members to share with each other um, the organizations outside of Tempo that they're involved in if there's ever a call for engagement on that. So the next one of these will be coming out in April and we'll put a call for submission in the Monday message. So if you have anything to submit for this, um, there will be a link in the Monday message in the next few weeks. And then our quarterly newsletters, um, another blast that goes out. Um, these are a really great long recap of everything that's gone on in the last quarter with Tempo. So if you've had a particularly busy quarter and you haven't been as plugged in as Tempo as you wanted to be, this is a great place to go to get caught up on past events, upcoming events, new members that have joined, um, new member shout outs, um, committee news and updates. This is just, again, a good go-to for that, um, to sit down and read it and get caught up with the organization. So we try to do these quarterly um, and with our new brand, we'll be launching in the next few months, um, a new look for the quarterly newsletter. And something that's fairly new to Tempo is our career center and job board. So um, again, if you're looking specifically, if you have a job opening within your organization and you think it would be of interest to Tempo or EWL members, or you wanna just share it with that network, this is um, a board that's open exclusively to Tempo and EWL members um, to post any sort of job opportunities. You can also post board opportunities on here. Um, and this is linked in our Monday message each, each Monday. Um, so lots of traction on here. Um, and we've been excited to launch this just within the last few months. And of course, Tempo is on social media. So we encourage you to connect with us um, and stay up to date with us in that way. Um, and just as another way to be plugged in and to share with your networks to um, what Tempo is up to. Alrighty, and then just some last new member engagement call outs that we have. We do have an engagement committee that um, we is assigned to each one of you as a new member and will be reaching out to you to schedule a Zoom call or a walk or a coffee um, just to connect with you and just have um, a, a new person within the organization to connect with on any questions you might have um, or just to hear what the, their tempo journey looks like since it is different for everyone. So uh, keep an eye out for an email in the coming weeks from a member of our engagement committee. And then um, just some immediate steps to start getting um, plugged in. We always encourage you to include your in, um, affiliation with Tempo on your resume and your LinkedIn, um, because I think as Jen mentioned, we really look to our current members, new and established in spreading the word on Tempo and getting those women that we have not yet tapped involved um, and really just continuing to grow our organization. We encourage you to invite potential members or just women within your network that you think might be interested in any of our program meetings or professional development events um, or any of our signature events. Um, and then if you feel inclined to join a committee, I know that that list was also sent out with your new member items. We encourage you at any point within your membership to join a committee. It doesn't have to be right when you join. It doesn't have to be at the start of the new year. It can be anytime you're ready to join a committee. We encourage you to do so. And as I think we've said before on this call, it's really a choose your own adventure. So we recognize that engagement looks different for each and every one of our members. So um, don't feel like you have to do it all. I don't know that it's possible to do it all, um, but we encourage you to find those opportunities that really do fit, fit you and fit what you're looking to get out of tempo um, and, and run with them. So with that. Yeah, I thank you. Yeah, thanks Kelsey. Turn it over. 
Yeah, thank you, Kelsey. Thank you so much, Marit. Um, we know that, and thank you to our new members that have joined. Uh, we know that we've had a lot of um, information, but thank you for spending your um, first hour and a half of your day with our group. Um, if you have any questions, we do have um, a little bit of time, maybe like two minutes or so, um, but if we do need to go a little past 10 just to answer your questions, we can do so. Um, so I will open it up. Does anyone have any questions? If you could do that in the chat or you could just unmute yourself. Can I maybe get a, ray, uh, a uh, hand raise from those that are receiving our Monday message? Okay, perfect, okay. All right, if you are not, and you have not received uh, our Monday message, please uh, let us know. And we'll make sure, as Kelsey mentioned, that is really the heart of our communication. It's a weekly wrap up of um, our overview of all the things that are happening for our members. Um, the new member materials, again, you should have received from Kelsey. Please uh, let us know if you have any questions and please complete your profile so that you can start receiving those communications. And if you're interested in serving on any of our committees or getting to know anything more about our coffee connections, our mentor circles, any of the initiatives that we have gone through, do not hesitate to reach out to myself or any member of the Tempo team, and we can uh, provide you additional details or put you in contact with community or um, committee leads. Uh, but we are just really, really excited that you all have joined Tempo. This is just an incredible network of fierce females that we are adding to our um, membership roster. We are really, really pleased that you have um, taken the time to learn about our organization. We are here to support. We are here to help you navigate through this organization and get the best out of it. Um, just really, really thank you for being um, part of this and for your interest in Tempo. With that, enjoy this bright, sunny Thursday morning. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Tiffany, and to everyone who have joined us this morning. Um, we will see you all hopefully soon in person, um, but if not, uh, these Zoom cars, calls are a great way to get to know one another. Molly, I see that you unmuted yourself. Did you have any questions or Liz or? I was just going to say thank you. Hope to awesome. meet you all soon. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have, have a, a great day. day. You too. Thank you all very much. Bye-bye.